Here, you can make up your own Tarzan and Jane story. At the end of each story segment, it's up to you to choose what happens next. If you want to hear your choices again, click on the curved arrow in the lower right corner of the screen. And if you want to exit the story, click on the X in the other corner. To get started, select the arrow in the center. Good luck! Every once in a while, the excitement of life in the jungle takes a turn toward the routine. Take today. Turk is fishing in her favorite stump. The professor is busy at work in his lab. Ouch. And Tarzan is helping Jane adjust to life in the jungle. <laughs> oh, routine. But one thing is out of the ordinary. Jane. She seems to be feeling a little out of her element lately. I guess this place can be overwhelming sometimes. And I know Jane doesn't want to feel like a burden to Tarzan. Of course, Tarzan will always be there to protect her. But as my buddy Turk always says, there's only so many times you can pull somebody out of the mud. <laughs> um, as well as Jane is adapted to life in the jungle, sometimes uh, she's as clumsy as an elephant, uh, figuratively speaking, of course. But Tarzan doesn't mind. In fact, he'd be at her side right now if not for that plume of smoke there in the distance. Smoke. Did I say smoke? Oh, wait. When there's smoke, there's more smoke. And when there's more smoke, there's fire, and, and fire is no friend to the jungle. <laughs> what do you think Tarzan should do? Rush to investigate the fire? Or help Jane out of the mud? Oh, I can't look. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. Wise choice. Tarzan swings into action, speeding toward the source of the fire. No time to even say goodbye to Jane. The decisions of an ape man aren't always easy. Tarzan swings through the vines, slides across trees, and leaps off waterfalls. Look at that fall. <laughs> the judges give it a 10. I think I see the source of the smoke. It's Dumont's trading post. The post is on fire. Oh, the tragedy. <laughs> I hope he's got insurance. Dumont and his staff are doing everything they can to put out the flames. But between you and me, things don't look good. Luckily, Tarzan arrives in the nick of time. He helps fill water buckets, rescues Hugo and Hoofed from the roof of a building, and frees a trapped customer from the clutches of peril. A hero if ever there was one. Finally, the fire is extinguished. Now, Tarzan has to decide what to do next. On one hand, he should probably go home and apologize to Jane for leaving her in the mud. On the other hand, he can't help but wonder what started the fire. What should Tarzan do? Go home and apologize to Jane? Or... Stick around and investigate the cause of the fire. Oh boy, am I glad I don't have to make the decision. <laughs> Bold choice. Tarzan must know what started that fire, and he needs Hugo and Hoof to give it to him straight. But Getting those two to stick to a story is like teaching an elephant to dance. Possible, but not easy. The moment Tarzan leaves, the evil slash not very nice Colonel Stake pops out of the bushes to arrest Hugo and Hooft. He says the dessert is from the Foreign Legion. Personally, I love dessert, especially with those little coconut sprinkles, you know. But I digress. Now, our man Tarzan is on his way back to the treehouse when he realizes it might be a better idea to keep an eye on H and H. Those two are always getting into trouble. Tarzan makes it back to the trading shack just as that mean old colonel is marching away with Hugo and Hooft. The nerve! 
Kaze keeps a low profile and follows them through the jungle. A rescue could be dangerous. It might be better to wait until dark to make his move. What do you think he should do? Attempt to rescue Hugo and Hoof now? Or wait for a better opportunity? Patience, quite a virtue. Tarzan follows Hugo and Hoof to the Foreign Legion's camp and waits for the perfect moment to save the day. Or night, as the case may be. And you know, if you don't save the night, chances are there won't be a day anyway. But that's another story. Right now, there's more important business at hand. Suddenly, the evil colonel orders his men to pack up camp and load everything onto a nearby ship. H&H &H are put to work. No R&R &R for these two. A rescue now poses great danger. What should Tarzan do? He could sneak aboard the ship and see where the colonel is taking them, or he could turn away and return home safely to Jane. <sighs> you make the call. So you're a take charge kind of person. I admire that. Tarzan hides in the hold of the ship as it travels to a jail the locals call Cape Doom. <laughs> I wonder what Tarzan has up his sleeve. I mean, you know, if he had a sleeve, I'd wonder what was up it anyway. Once the boat nears the jail, Tarzan swims for it. He creeps onto the island, climbs into the prison, And Whammo takes out one of the guards. Oh, don't forget those keys. Walking as quietly as a mouse, Tarzan finds his old buddies, Hugo and Hooft, and busts them loose. Just as they're about to get away, they're suddenly surrounded by the sinister colonel and a dozen of his henchmen. Oh, Tarzan could really use a vine right now. But things go from bad to worse to disastrous, and Tarzan is sentenced to 20 years for his heroic effort. And 20 years is a long time for the Lord of the Apes to be without his freedom. Uh, not to mention his beloved Jane, and she is his beloved Jane. So, what on earth is Tarzan to do? Should he try to send a message to Jane for help, or should he try to escape now? <sighs> Both look like tempting choices. Taking the safe way out. Okay, no problem. Tarzan has to get a message to Jane. She's so smart, she'll have a plan to get him out of there. Hugo steals a key ring from one of the guards. Then, when nobody is looking, Tarzan and the boys sneak out of their cells and into the radio room at the jail. Now, poor Jane has spent the past several days at Dumont's trading post, waiting for news about Tarzan's well-being. Finally, through the crackling static, Jane hears Tarzan's voice. He's alive! <laughs> Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Tarzan explains his predicament. Then, suddenly, the line goes dead. Uh-oh. Jane instantly springs into action. Before you can swallow a bag full of peanuts, Jane bursts into the jail with the magistrate at her side. She accuses the colonel of running an illegal operation and insists that he let Tarzan, Hugo, and Hooft go free. The colonel denies everything, obviously. But when the magistrate threatens him with a court-martial, he quickly changes his tune. <laughs> Way to go, Jane. Back on the boat to freedom, Tarzan asks Jane how she managed to get the magistrate to come all the way to Cape Doom with her. Easy, Jane replies, and the magistrate reveals himself to be... Dumont in disguise. <laughs> Tarzan is at a loss for words. And come to think of it, so am I. But well, that doesn't happen often. 